as every athlete knows, there comes a time when inevitably it's time to let go of the reins and allow others to take over. My father has always said, broadcasting is for the young. That statement is as true today as the fact that change is the only constant. For the young have the courage to go where no one has ever been. Why not or bakit hindi has always been one of the defining attributes of our organization. The demographic profile of the Philippines has always been biased towards the youth. Who better to assess the needs of our audience than like-minded young managers? Thus, I am nominating my cousin, Mark Lopez, to replace me as chairman of the board. Mark has been at ABS-CBN for seven years. His role will be distinctly different from mine. After all, today's digital world is vastly different from the world I manage. Also, we have Carlo as CEO to manage the day-to-day -day operations. I envision Mark's role to be primarily a fiduciary responsibility. Together, both Carlo and Mark, both in their 40s, will carve out their roles in a way that will hopefully cater to their individual strengths. Furthermore, I will not disappear into the woodwork. If the shareholders decide, I can still be on the board to serve in a consultative capacity. I may be retired, but I am not dead. <laughs> At the end of the day, I can also take time out to just relax and watch grass grow. Nobody who knows me will ever believe that's what I will do. <laughs> However, it's important to me that my tombstone says, I planted the seeds, I watched the plants grow, but I did not cut or strangle the flowers to grow like a bonsai plant. I know that's a very big tombstone. <laughs> the point of Kahil Gibran comes to mind. Your children are not your children. They are the sons and daughters of life longing for itself. They come through you, but not from you. And so it is with ABS-CBN. I have spent most of my life with you, but you are not an extension of me. As a wise man once said, if you love them, set them free. So fly high, Kapavilya. Never be afraid to dream. Never be afraid to venture where no one has gone. I remain with you always. Thank you.